ask that you would lead us now, that you would be the one to speak even before we speak, to think before we think, to feel before we feel, and to do before we do. God, as we now approach uh, this place, as we are now at the nation's capital, God, we pray that you would help those that need to hear, that you would open their ears and their hearts to hear what we have to say. God, help us to be strengthened, help us to be uh, fervent, help us to be compassionate, and to really come in here with desperation, God, that you would help free our brothers and sisters who are held captive, that you would empower those that need to uh, make things happen, that you would be with us, that we would speak with boldness, that we would speak with clarity, and that you, God, would just give us the strength that we need. Be with us all from the youngest to the oldest. Help us to rely on you, to trust in you that, God, you are the God of miracles. And wonderful things can happen and will happen, God. So, Lord, would you just do, may your will be done, and may our, may our sisters and brothers in North Korea be free, God. God, may it, be, may it end now. May they be able to enjoy the same wonderful opportunities that we enjoy here in this wonderful nation. God, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join us as we recite our Pledge of Allegiance, led by Paul Kim, and directly after our national anthem, led by Rachel Park. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rachel. 